Okay, this uh, video is on an advanced laser design. Then again, it may not be. There may be people out there who have already come up with this. Um, it's very simple. They probably just haven't made it public. But here's the equation upon which it's built. And let me see if uh, let me see if this is where you guys can see it. Yes, it is. Okay. You have the function of x to the y power, and this is the basis for this design. And the parameters are x larger than equal to two y larger than equal to 2. The choice is yours of what you do as long as you follow those parameters. Uh, the larger the numbers you use for x and y, the more uh, exponentially powerful the laser will be as you progress through developing this laser design. It's simple. Let's, let's say like um, I decide that I want a laser design of factor 4. And so that, which means is basically, I'm going to take four lasers, and I'm going to either use some type of mirror or lens technology to focus these down into one more powerful beam than either one of these alone is capable of. Okay? So we're concentrating four beams into one beam. Okay, that's the basis for the design. Whether it's through a lens or mirrors or some other means, this is up to you guys. Take it, run with it. Here's the thing. Once we've taken one laser plus one laser plus one laser plus one laser, concentrated them into one, and this is always going to be one beam, let's duplicate this design four times and take four of this design, concentrating four into one beam, put it here, so now that this becomes a four, this is actually the result of taking four of these, put them into one, and we move this up here. We take another four lasers, concentrate their uh, beams into one, put it right here. Then we take another four lasers, concentrate their beams into one beam, put that here. Okay, so now each one of these is a laser power factor of four. Again, we take four lasers, concentrate their beams into one, put that right here, and now look how many beams we have being concentrated into one beam. This is now four, 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 and four, sixteen. We went from having just a, a laser of power of factor of 4, shall I say, to a factor of 16. Maybe I'm saying that wrong. Maybe it's just a level of 16. Maybe it's not factor. Maybe the experts can help me with this, but you get what this is. These are being concentrated into one. Then, we once we've taken this configuration, we've got four lasers here, four lasers here, four lasers here, and four lasers here, all being concentrated into one. What if we take this whole thing and put it up here. I need something to erase. <coughs> well, now you have this one beam because it's being is the re is result of all of these being concentrated together. And all of these is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, 16 lasers all together. So we do this, and then we move it back over here. We put it over here. Okay. We do that same design that we had up here before and put it right here. So now that we have 16, and we continue that two more times. The previous configuration, we duplicate that. We come up with four copies of that and put each one here, taking each one of those, concentrating them into one, and you see how it's grown? You know how many lasers we have, the power of how many lasers we have being concentrated into one now? Well, 10 times 4, 40. 6 times 4, 24. We have a laser that is 64 times more powerful than just one of these lasers that's actually, we can call this a system now, because there's so many lasers involved that each, so 
successive step, we've taken so many lasers, concentrated them into one beam, and then they be each in turn, we duplicated them and made them each one of these now, focused that into one beam, then we took each one of those, duplicated them, and made them go right here, 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 and here, and we're constantly increasing the power of this. Do you realize what would happen if we take one beam that is 64 times powerful than just any one laser by itself, and put that one beam that's coming from 64 lasers right there, 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 and there? And if each one of those is 64, times that by 4, and that's what you would have, a laser this powerful. And you got 16 there. It's the equivalent of 256 lasers in one. That's how powerful that laser would be. So anyway, why am I showing you this? Well, I'm of the belief that this is a pretty big universe. Um, we're one planet among many and just one solar system, which is one among many, and one galaxy, which is one among many, and uh, like the universe. And if we're looking out with our telescopes at others in the uh, universe, at their solar systems, galaxies, planets, there might possibly be somebody out there looking through a telescope at ours. And what happens in throughout history is usually when two peoples meet each other, they compete for resources. So it makes sense that the next step um, in people peoples vying for planetary resources, since we started with lands and just on one continent, or, or just in lands on one, uh, say, island, and then uh, those people competing with uh, resources for other people on other islands, and then those islands competing for, with resources, somebody else on a continent over here and a continent over there are competing for resources. Now we have the whole world competing for resources. The next step in the, the macroscopic view is out there beyond the borders of our planet Earth. We need to be prepared, on it, quite honestly. And in case E.T. decides to come here and try to <laughs> take our resources, I'd like to kind of be prepared with stuff like this. Feasibly, <coughs> feasibly, if you kept going with this, this design, you could take 256 lasers right here and put each of them here, 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 and here, duplicating this. You'd have four of this, one right there, 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 and there. And you, your factor of, of power would be over a thousand, would be close to, if not well, over a thousand. You know, so each time you do this, it's, it's growing. The power of the laser is growing exponentially as you replace each one of these with a more powerful uh, this, a system of lasers, as you saw me do. So let's do that and have some fun with it. Take the experts out there can take this. I mean, you could feasibly get a laser powerful enough. This is really wicked science stuff because if you kept going with this and you had thousands or even hundreds of thousands of lasers being focused into just one beam, you could feasibly, feasibly come up with a laser that is so powerful you could explode a whole planet if it were possible to make a laser that large. And, and just, to, just have to be the resources and the technology to be able to keep going with this and developing, developing this design, exponentially increasing the power of it as you went. So that's it. Thank you.